You're watching news that gets to the point on KATC TV3. Add 21 to the number of charges piling up against Opelousas Police Chief Larry Kaye. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Julie Kelly has the night off. The embattled chief was indicted today on 21 criminal charges. KATC's Marcel Fontenot is live in Opelousas. Marcel, what do these charges range from? Well, Hoyt, I'm standing in front of the courtroom where these charges in this indictment came down today. The charges range from criminal, criminal conspiracy to 10 counts of forgery and money laundering, and the list continues. But there was one charge in this indictment that caught many, including Chief Kaye's attorneys, off guard. Now, Hoyt, back to you in the studio. And now, here's your Storm Team 3 24-hour forecast. Hazy and hot out there. More of the same off tap through your next 20. We have to get this shoved down our throat on the next to the last day of this session. Suburban New Orleans, a 36-year-old state trooper has been arrested and accused of running an illegal gambling operation out of his home and his Metairie office. Trooper Warren Ayo, a 13-year veteran, has been suspended pending the results of an investigation. Brennan Hawkins, the 11-year-old Boy Scout who was missing in the wilds of Utah for four days, is out of the hospital and home tonight with his family. Not appear to have changed his personality, and hopefully in just a matter of time, he'll be hiking once again. Well, still to come. Welcome back. Heat and humidity continue and rain chances pretty much down, but that may change as we head toward the weekend. Up at six, we're going to tell you why a popular brand of chicken and sausage gumbo is being recalled. What's in it could make some people very sick. Also tonight, for a while, it was a hot spot on Lafayette's Restaurant Row, but another national chain has found Acadiana Diners are a tough crowd to please. We'll tell you who is closing. Plus, wait until you see our Safe Families report about germs around your office. It will make you think twice about how clean it is or isn't. Just join us for these stories and more local news on Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Still ahead on Acadiana's News Channel at 5, new research sheds light on lung cancer. Find tourist attractions. Yeah. They're, they're sort of a walking Disney. Disney, I was just going to say there. the same yes. thing. I hope the Queen isn't listening. No. I don't think she's in Acadiana <laughs> tonight, though, is she? <laughs> Gotta watch out for the web, though. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob. Well, that's our Acadiana's News Channel for 5. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back in 30 minutes with the latest news, weather, and sports. ABC World News Tonight. You're watching news that gets to the point on KATC TV3. After a grand jury's decision, the Opelousas police chief faces still more charges. Eventually, rain chances in the forecast will tell you when. And crime fighters in St. Martin Parish now have technology at their fingertips. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for choosing KATC for your news tonight. Darla Montgomery has the evening off. Topping our newscast tonight, a grand jury in Opelousas has returned 21 indictments against embattled police chief Larry Kaye after an audit revealed the mishandling of almost a quarter of a million dollars. KATC's Marcel Fontenot was in Opelousas today. As she tells us, the charges against Kaye are sparking public reaction. Thank you, Rob. We look forward to that. Traffic stops in St. Martin Parish could soon be faster and safer if you know where either of those men is at this point. Well, a toddler was killed last night in Kenner when his father accidentally ran over him. Police say the man was pulling away from the curb and struck the child. No charges have been filed, but police say the case is still under investigation. And in Metairie, a state trooper has been arrested and accused of running an illegal gambling operation out of his home and out of his office. 36-year-old Warren Ayo had been on the force for 13 years. Now he's under suspension pending the results of an investigation. A bill in the legislature would increase the death benefit for Louisiana firefighters and law enforcement officers who die in the line of duty. Survivors currently receive $50,000, but if passed into law, that benefit would be upped to $200,000. The Hub City has become the latest in the state to restrict public smoking. Last night, the pilot of a U.S. Air Force U-2 spy plane was killed today when the plane crashed while returning to the Al Dafra Air Force Base in the United Arab Emirates. From the Storm Team 3 Weather Lab, here's Rob Perillo's True View Forecast.
Welcome back. Big heat for oh, yes. Exactly. Thanks a lot, Rob. Well, coming up, are you really safe for surprise that germs exist at the office, but you may be shocked by just how many there are on your phone, your keyboard and just about everywhere else. As CNN's Heidi Collins reports, it's enough to make you sick. Wash our hands throughout the day and wipe down workspaces with disinfectant. That should help keep germs to a minimum and keep everyone healthy. Rob is swabbing his keyboard even as we speak. Well, folks allergic to shrimp but who love chicken and sausage gumbo should be on the lookout for a product that's been recalled. Abe's Cajun Boudin of Lake Charles produced nine pound cases and 12 ounce packages of Tony Sachery's Creole style chicken and sausage gumbo. The gumbo is being recalled because it may contain shrimp, and that's an ingredient that is not listed on the label. Well, Scott Brazda is going to be with us. He's he's almost in the, he's in the house, and he'll be here in just a minute. Stay with us. Dream home, really beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's it absolutely gorgeous. And you know, the last week you always wonder how they're going to get it together. It is coming together. It's amazing it how good. they do that. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Scott. Want to be out on that plate tonight before you go out onto that porch and get in your swing? An almost unbelievable story. Police in Ethiopia found a 12-year-old girl who had been abducted and beaten, being guarded by three lions. The girl was kidnapped by seven men who planned to force her into marriage. Well, the big cats came to her rescue, chasing away her captors and waiting patiently until help arrived. Food for thought, isn't it? That's a stuff. Yeah. That's a good story. It really is a good story. And that's our six o'clock report, everybody. We'll see you tonight at 10. Have a good evening.